Is your jumping spider inactive? Wondering why? Let's explore some reasons in this video. Hello everyone and welcome back to Spoodapods. I'm David and today I'm rocking my Jumping Spider Dad t-shirt and we are exploring reasons why jumping spiders may become inactive and things you can do about it. It's a very common issue with jumping spiders. Sometimes it can mean something's wrong in the environment. Sometimes it can be just something natural. So let's go through some reasons why your jumping spider may be inactive. One of the most common reasons a jumping spider may be less active, a little bit less um, busy than usual, is they may be going to pre-molt. During pre-molt, jumping spiders will behave slightly differently. They will sit in their webs more, they may sit around a lot more, and that is perfectly natural behavior. It's important to be very observant of your jumping spider. If you are noticing this sort of behavior, just make a note of it. Do offer food occasionally if they are out, out and about, and also make sure there's nothing else going on in the environment. If they are in pre-molt, best leave them alone, let them get on with it. Once they're done, they'll be back to their usual selves. Another exceptionally common reason a jumping spider may be inactive is temperature. This is probably the most common reason a jumping spider may be less active than they would be normally. If the temperature is too low, then they just don't really feel like moving around much. For them, they need it nice and warm. You need it a nice stable room temperature, which is about 24 Celsius. They can be okay a little bit lower, but again, it'll be dependent on your individual jumping spider and their species. But that's one of the first places to look. If they're not in pre-molt and they're not very active, then maybe raise that temperature a little bit and see if that makes a difference. There's a type of jumping spider behavior that I've, me and a few other people have started calling lazy lounging. Now jumping spiders sometimes will like to just sit around and not do very much. If they've just had a big meal, you'll notice they may have a burst of activity, then they'll just sit around. Also, if other factors aren't ideal in the environment, they may sit around for a little while, then get active later. This isn't that uncommon for jumping spiders to spend a lot of time sitting. However, if they're doing it for a very prolonged period of time, then you might want to look at some of the other things I presented in this video and see if you can change things to encourage them to be more active. Sometimes when a jumping spider female is going to lay an egg sac or has laid an egg sac, you may find they spend a lot of time in their web. They will sit in their web and they will just guard the egg sac or when they're in the process of preparing to lay it, they will literally just sit there. This isn't unusual if you have a female. If you do notice an egg sac, it's best to leave it alone for a little while. And if you notice that she consumes it, that's also normal too. Don't panic, again, just be observant and see what's going on with them. Another contributing factor to your jumping spider not wanting to move around a lot may be a lack of light. Jumping spiders need a decent light source to be able to see their prey and navigate their environment. Obviously, like most spiders, they have those lovely hairs that help them sense things, and they also have a great sense of touch. However, a good light will help your jumping spider feel more comfortable and be more active. It is kind of one of those staples. You want to have a nice stable temperature, you want to have decent humidity, and you do want a decent light source. So if your spider isn't moving around much, maybe consider providing them a light source and see if that makes a difference. Now your jumping spider may also be hesitant to move around because it's scared. Maybe you've just brought it home, it's in a new environment, it's a little bit worried, a little bit scared, so it just stays bundled up and sits there. I've got a video on jumping spider behavior, which I'll leave a card for now if you want to explore that topic a bit more. But sometimes when they're settling in and there's a lot of rapid movement around, they can be a bit worried. So it's, it can be worth maybe being slow with your movements around your spider until it gets used to you, and maybe looking around and their setup and see if everything's okay. Which leads me neatly on to my final point. Your jumping spider's environment may not be ideal. Make sure that they have lots of high up places, lots of branches to climb on, places to hide. The jumping spider hide is really useful because the environment is not ideal, that can influence how active they are. They are an arboreal species, which means they like to live in like trees and on the leaves, basically above the ground. So you need to make sure that environment's ideal for them so they have all these things to basically give them the best quality of life. And if you've got this point in the video, remember, look for all this little checklist and see if any of them apply, try and correct them and you may see your spider being much more active and being happier in general. So guys, that is why jumping spiders may be inactive. I've got loads of other videos on the channel regarding jumping spiders. Please feel free to explore them. But in the meantime, take care, see you later.